Hi guys, it's Przemek here, and here I am with the short update on MetaGrid Pro development. Today we are entering beta 2 stage, which means that uh, we have implemented lots of your feedback, lots of your feature requests, and as for now, uh, the feature set for MetaGrid Pro uh, 1.0 is going to be closed. We have implemented several great improvements and great features based on your feedback, and we I, we are so grateful for it. Uh, you guys had um, some some really valuable uh, ideas how to um, make MetaGrid Pro even better. And now let me dive in. I'm going to show you some of the functionalities that we have uh, uh, implemented, and uh, you will see what we've been busy with uh, through the last month. So let's go. So here is my MetaGrid Pro with a dedicated grid that I've made for this presentation, which doesn't look like a MetaGrid grid, right? Uh, so as you can see in point one, we have added label objects. So these simple text objects will enable you to make your grids more descriptive and more attractive visually. So let me show uh, the options for uh, this object. So let me tap my label. And um, so naturally, it's a text object, a uh, multi-line text object. So there's the text, and uh, you can change the size of the um, of the text. Uh, now we've got three layouts. So just only text, then text with the underline. It's uh, the underline at the very bottom of the um, text object, and there is the background uh, text with, against the at the background. Then you've got the alignment. You've got left, center, and right, and you've got two colors. Uh, you've got the label text color and you've got label secondary color. Uh, secondary color is either the background or the um, underline. So that's basically it. Uh, simple objects, much requested, uh, that will enable you to add some descriptions to your sections uh, for buttons or labels for faders if you want multi-line uh, um, labels. Um, so these were all about labels, right? Let's go to the next point, which is activate our application. So um, now you will be able to switch apps on your computer, uh, Mac or P PC, uh, without the need for external software. So um, I have already added a macro here uh, with the, uh, let me delete this action. So I'm going to add an action. Um, in application control, there is the activate application action. So I add it. Then I'm going to search for uh, an application that I'm going to activate. Let it be Illustrator. Select it. And uh, I click Done. The icon automatically changed so you will not be you will not have to uh, look for the respective icon metagrid will do it for you of course if the icons are already developed if you have already connected with meta server before this will enable you to switch between applications on your computer directly from metagrid then custom color palettes yes uh, that was a much requested feature we have implemented a of uh, the um, mechanism that will enable you to create your own uh, color schemes based on the hex values. So let me go over there. So it's a button, and uh, let me demonstrate it based on the uh, custom uh, on the um, background color. So uh, standard colors that you already know uh, from uh, former builds. If you tap it uh, here, you've got custom palettes. Uh, we have already added um, several great color schemes uh, and um, you will be able to modify uh, these um, palettes or you'll be able to create your own. So let's tap edit. And um, now I've got several options. So first of all, I can reorder uh, the palettes on the list. So let me say I use Officer X uh, the most and I want it to be uh, on the first slot. So I just drag, uh, I um, touch down on the um, drag indicator and I uh, touch it up or down based on your needs, right? So uh, then uh, I can delete the palette uh, by tapping uh, one of the 
uh, minus icons over there. So let's say I don't need Officer X anymore. So I just uh, tap it and press delete. And uh, now I want to modify the palette, right? So um, I tap the edit, uh, this pencil icon uh, over there. And I've got the list of the colors and uh, I can add a new color or I can, again, I can reorder the colors there and uh, I can delete the color. Uh, I can change the name of the palette over here. Um, all right, so here I am, okay. So when I want to add a new palette, I just tap the plus icon over there. Here is the new palette. New color palette has been created. So now I can edit it and I can add uh, colors. I can uh, uh, change the name and then I can use the colors for my objects in MetaGrid. And uh, what's great that uh, you can uh, export individual palettes uh, by tapping the share button over there, or you can import the palettes from Dropbox or from your local cache. Um, also, uh, your palettes are included in um, global backup. Uh, so th this is a much requested functionality. We love it. It will enable you to personalize uh, your grids even more. Okay, let's go to the next position on our list, which is horizontal faders. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, we have implemented the faders, but you requested uh, some additional options. So. So we can uh, now have the option to uh, make it horizontal. So we can make it um, vertical and horizontal. We, can, we have added background color and border color, and also the ability to hide the cap text and hide the fader title if you want to just give uh, add a label underneath or above uh, the fader. And uh, the last big change, and that's, that's a huge change, basically. Um, so, um, so far, you've been uh, preparing grids for uh, Mac and for Windows separately. Now, the change that we have implemented in the data structure and in the uh, macro flow will enable you to use one grid, both for Mac and for uh, PC. So every object on the grid that is macro enabled um, will have a dedicated uh, Mac and uh, Windows macro. For example, here I've got a um, button over there and uh, I can create a dedicated macro for uh, the Mac computer and I can create a dedicated macro for the Windows computer. Um, and as you can see, the modifiers change accordingly. Um, I've got two macros, one for Windows, one for Mac. And now uh, MetaGrid will trigger the respective macro based on the computer you are connected to. So there's no longer a need to create a dedicated grid for Mac and dedicated grid for uh, PC. Now uh, one grid to rule them all. And um, we have added the more button here with the reset button. So that zeroes all the settings uh, and reverts to default settings for the button. And now you can uh, copy um, the win uh, macro to the Mac macro and vice versa. So for example, if I want to uh, copy uh, win macro to the Mac uh, slot, I just press it and here I am. So uh, it will enable you to make the workflow faster. So that is MetaGrid Pro Beta 2. I hope you like the new functionalities. And uh, once more, thank you for all the feedback, ideas, and feature requests. Uh, the, you know, these were very, very valuable for us and uh, enabled us to take uh, MetaGrid Pro to the next level to make it closer to your needs. And uh, we'll be doing that in the next uh, iterations. We've got a long feature uh, request list and also we've got some great ideas for MetaGrid as well. So um, let's hope that's going to be uh, successful enough to enable us to implement all the our dream uh, roadmap for our MetaGrid Pro. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye.